I should tell you this too. Um, you know, I, I think, um, how do I say this? Um, poetry, I think, resembles architecture in, in a very particular way. I think we use the materiality of like bricks or plaster or glass or metal uh, t to make architecture. But the real medium in architecture is not the materiality. You know, it's space. It's immateriality. Um, we could de de deconstruct this room and use the same materials and inflect the space differently and you'd get uh, maybe a temple or a bedroom uh, this, and the space would be different. You know, it'd be sacred space, private space. In this instance, it's public space. So that the real material, uh, the real medium in architecture is uh, space. It's the immaterial. And I think poetry is like architecture in this way in that the real medium in poetry, the kind of poetry that I enjoy uh, uh, reading and aspire to write uh, is silence. And the materiality of language is used to inflect the silence that already exists. And in this way, I think even as we are in a way guests in language, I think language itself is a guest in silence and the host of the host is uh, silence. And uh, in the same way, you know, when we practice meditation or contemplation, uh, it is a way to become more present to the host, uh, that is, our consciousness, um, as opposed to all the forms that inhabit consciousness, like thoughts or feelings. Um, I, I hope I'm able to, um, to kind of communicate that through some of these poems. <clears throat>